you want to I, I didn't mention autotune uh <laughs> yes uh yeah yeah uh i mean autotune was a startup i did with with two of my students uh dana van aiken and bohan zang dana was my peachy student and the basic idea we were using machine learning to automatically tune configuration ops for, for data systems like postgres and mysql you know, like buffer pool sizes and, and cache policies and things like that and you know we there's a lot of things i learned that we did right and did wrong i would say that at the end of the day what was satisfying is it actually worked you know, I don't play too much into the stereotype of AI is going to put people out of work, but like we definitely had a couple of customers be like, you know, like, we hired DBA as a consultant to, to, you know, try to tune our database, our Postgres database. But, you know, with, within a day or two days of Autotune running, you basically did all the same thing that the specs of DBA was doing. And so they just switched over to Autotune. There obviously is not a lot of companies in the space. There's a few other sort of sort of out there that try to do ML for, for database tuning. The major lesson I've learned is is not so much the technology, the underlying machine learning thing, but it's more about the almost the human side of things. So like what you show the person, how you convey that the that there's benefit to what they're doing. Because honestly, sometimes this stuff takes a while before the machine learning kicks in and says, okay, here's what you're actually doing. Um, Maybe the lesson here: databases are for the people, right? Yes. And uh, all the stuff that that you do and I do, I mean, it only exists because there's applications of people using it on top. Yes.